my name is Gladys Smith and I'm from Jamestown High School and my science project this year is the effect of environment on decomposition rate. Sources such as the United States Environmental Protection Agency have shown that the United States' natural waste output has increased steadily for many, many decades and shows no sign of slowing down. So it is becoming increasingly important that we understand and recognize the best locations or environments or climates for our natural waste to decompose and be recycled as we're producing more and more of them each year. My hypothesis was that if natural products are surrounded by materials of similar composition, then they will decompose at a faster rate than if they were in an environment of relatively artificial makeup. This posed the research question, does the type of waste surrounding these natural products affect the rate at which they decompose? And I explored this through creating many environments in four identical plastic boxes, one to simulate a landfill, one to simulate a compost pile, one that simulated the outdoors, and one which contained no other materials besides the control materials themselves to imitate places such as parking lots or inside buildings. And the same amounts of control materials were placed into each of these tubs and monitored. The procedure consisted of exposing the four boxes to the same immediate environment, which ensured that they re received identical amounts of sunlight and heat. Their decomposition progresses were documented through daily checks comprised of essentially visual observation that were written down each day and also mixing them daily to simulate, you know, wind or rain or other types of natural processes that would affect them outdoors, which cannot occur in this simulation. In terms of safety, the mold found in all the experimental groups after the three week period was the primary risk in this experiment. And to decrease the risk of exposure to any sort of harmful bacteria, the boxes were handled with gloves and surgical masks at all times. The data gathered in this experiment began to show very early on that groups two and one, which imitated the outdoors and the compost pile, were experiencing higher levels of decomposition and far more noticeable decomposition than groups three and four, which were landfill and empty. As you can see by the images here, groups one and two, which imitated natural environments, their pancake and banana controls are completely covered in mold, whereas groups three and four also have mold, but not to the extent that groups one and two do. The data gathered in this experiment showed that the control materials in the boxes imitating natural environments had the most advanced decomposition after the three week period. There are several shortcomings in the conducting of this experiment, one of the most important being lack of trials for each group and lack of extra boxes for each environment, which would have made the data more reliable. Another one would have been quantifying the decomposition in a more accurate or numerical manner, such as weighing the masses of each control daily or using a thermometer to measure decomposition. Both of these require materials that were not available. The purpose of this experiment was to determine if when natural products are surrounded by materials of similar composition, then they will decompose at a faster rate than if they were in an environment of relatively artificial makeup. The question pursued by this experiment is important because of the record-breaking amounts of natural waste our country produces yearly. Is there an optimal location for the decay of these materials? This in inquiry was answered by the data gathered. Groups 1 and 2, the environments which mimicked natural areas, contained the most decomposed control materials.